look, look who's on my screen again. That's right, folks. This time, Phil is upset because there's a tweet from one of his detractors, and it's apparently playing with his depression. Uh, um, uh, he's depressed now. And, you know, he very well may be, but, like, everything. He's just pulling everything out of the stops. Last week, it was back pain. Now it's depression. Like, and... and I'm covering these because I actually legitimately have both and I am trying really hard not to let those be excuses for not providing content because if I want to have being a content creator be my job I can't not provide content and then be upset that I'm not making anything lucrative out of it like that that doesn't work so this is why covering stuff like this means a lot to me so we're gonna take a look at this video once again shout outs to uh, memeology 101 for clipping this and uh, we are going to start this meltdown over a tweet yes a tweet ladies and gentlemen Good morning, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Level 1 Podcast. How are you all today? I hope I find you well. As we continue on with this awesome streaming week, the first week of the official busy fall gaming season. Why did you have to say season like that? How you doing? Hello, my children. <laughs> then we had... um. Of special AC fight where it had one weak point, you had to hit it, and it wasn't vulnerable anywhere else, and you had to kind of focus in on that weak point. It was pretty neat. I had a good time with the, with the game yesterday. So, I finished my stream. Everything's good, right? After the uh -huh. fact, I start seeing people tweet. Well, I guess it's even called tweeting anymore. Who knows? And also leaving comments on the videos. Oh, isn't it funny how Phil knew the optimal build for the Sea Star boss? And I'm like... How did I know the optimal build? I'm like, wait a minute. The build I'm using is dual miniguns and this dual rocket launchers. And this was explained or suggested to me like two streams ago by someone. So wait, people, people are trolling you about your build on, I'm guessing either Starfield or Armored Corp. It sounds like Starfield, but they're trolling you. Because they're saying you knew the optimal build. Well, like, who cares? Who, like, what? This is what's starting your meltdown? The people are bitching and trolling you about your build on a. Vi Bitch, that's like. That's like. That's like people melting down over people laughing at their Call of Duty loadout. Or. Or people laughing at what type of variation in in fighting game you're using for a character that that's stupid and getting upset about it is even more stupid they had said that this was a build they were using they really liked it so later on in the game if i have the ability to use it i should try it so i already had one minigun i liked it but it was starting to run out of ammo. I bought dual miniguns. This is actually how I ended my last stream, dual miniguns. And again, I liked them, but they kept running out of ammo. So I needed uh -huh. to upgrade my missiles regardless. I was using plasma missiles, and those aren't very good. They're only good for, like, stunning, but they're not very good for damage output. So I was like, I got to upgrade my missiles anyway. So, okay. you know, I, I basically was going along with a suggestion of a viewer from, like, two different Wh streams ago. Why are you justifying your bill? Like, dude, it's not like... And, and, and I'm sitting here defending Phil at this point. It's not like you're out there advertising that you, like, defeated this boss with this brand new loadout. Like, that would be something then for people to, to call you out on. You're just, like, out, you're just, pl I bet you you're not even the only one who had that suggested to them. The, I guarantee you, you're not the only streamer who's had that suggested to them. And I'm not even watching any of those streams. I'm just, fuck, I'm just fairly certain that you are 
about 95% likely not to have been the only streamer suggested that build. And for you to let people offend you <laughs> over this, it, like, this is, this is pretty bad, dude. Like, and you then can't, I used it. I was like, wow, this is really good. It you worked really well. Okay, I'll, I'll keep going you. or rolling with it for the stream. That doesn't mean I'm going to use it for the rest of the playthrough. It just means I'm going to use it for the stream or whatever. Then you get people complaining. Oh, you see, uh, he already knows the optimal builds. What are you talking about? It was a viewer suggested build from two streams ago, and I just happened to use it. I mean, I was using tons of builds during this playthrough so far, so I don't, I don't get what you're saying. Then I, get, I start getting comments. Thank you to the person who sent me all the advice. Some people in the stream chat are yelling and screaming, go fuck yourselves. Seriously, I mean that. I'm tired of it. Oh, yeah, when he was um, trying to pick the stupid lock. And that's why people were yelling and screaming at you, Phil, because you couldn't pick a goddamn puzzle lock without going, huh? What? Huh? And sounding like a really bad freaking, I don't, like, I, I can't even come up with a comparison. I, you just, you sounded like a squawking, oh, I know, you sounded like Iago, only if Iago were hooked up to a battery. That's what you sounded like. So, I played the game, honestly up to this point, using everything I've learned, I'm still succeeding, I'm winning. Someone gives me a little bit of advice, says, Phil, just tweak what you're doing a little bit more, it'll make the game uh, you know, a little bit easier for you, try these different things. Okay, I'll try them. You took advice. You fucker. You did it. Fuck off. Everyone who plays games on Twitch does this. Everyone takes advice from their audience. That's, I so did not why are you so upset about it? Just playthrough. ignore it. I have it. not built my entire build based off of the advice of the viewer. Instead, I had a build that I created on my own. On videos. Oh, see? Phil copied Asmund Gold. Because Asmund Gold used the dual minigun, dual missile launcher build his whole playthrough. And... Phil obviously watches Asmund Gold and just copies everything he does. Isn't it funny? Because previously, also when he played Elden Ring, he had an Asmund Gold build. And I'm like, you guys gonna understand something, all right? Oh my God, this is this is the most childish bullshit. Is this really what is going to have you claiming that this is messing with your depression? Really, arguments over. Whether or not you copied Asmongold's fucking builds in Elden Ring and Starfield. Really? Really? And, and, and I think sometimes that I need to get off the internet when I'm having a bad mental health day? Holy shitballs, dude. Wow. You're, wow. You're this bent out of shape about people obviously trolling you because they know you'll act like this and you're falling for it and you're 40 something years old. This is, this is very sad, my friend. You, you, you need help. I don't watch other streamers. I do not. If you I don't ever watch, watch other, other streamer, streamers, I'm watching yeah, it's play clear. Game after I've played it already. I never watch another streamer play a game ahead of me because I don't want to spoil myself, ever, all right? How about you watch uh, some of their clips of the playthroughs that, you, that they've done up to where you are so that you can see how they've done it and maybe get some advice and some tips from them. You don't have to watch ahead. Like, you, you know that, right? You know, like, when I'm learning a new fighting game and I have the content creators that I'm watching and they're playing something that I haven't played yet. If it's a story part of it, yeah, I won't like, I won't watch that part of the story, but I will watch other parts of the game mechanics that they're, that they're finding out about because that's how you learn. Like, no wonder you suck at what you do. You don't watch anybody else till after you're done. That's not how you, like, first of all, that's not how you learn how to play a game. Second of all, that's not how you grow as a content creator. Because if you're not watching how other content creators are doing what you're doing, 
and you're not like you don't have to copy them but you can see what works for them and what doesn't work for them and you can you know find some originality within yourself to make make it your own but apparently that's too much for phil right I have not literally ever seen a moment of Asmund Gold playthrough. Not once. The the little bit I saw was when he was talking about me while playing Diablo 4. So I just inadvertently saw him play some Diablo 4 when I was listening to what he had to say about me. And I literally paid no attention to his gameplay. I was just listening to what he had to say about <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, because he was you talking see? about you. So, so you didn't care I didn't about the gameplay. I didn't pay any attention to this nonsense. You, I, you were just like, I'm being talked about what's being said about you me. Know, I, I don't know what you're talking about, but this is what I mean. Like people are always out to take anything that's going on with me and kind of discredit it or make an excuse for it. Yeah, it's toxic so you should behavior. Ignore it's incredibly it. disgusting, cult-like toxic behavior. Oh, it's cult-like toxic behavior. Well, stop being toxic, and people will stop calling you out for it, and stop trying to look for you being toxic when you're not being toxic. Did you ever think of that? Oh. Probably not. Broken hand or whatever. In this case, there was a suggested build by a viewer two streams ago. Are we ago. still on I remembered this? remembered they had mentioned that. Holy and shit. And I was kind of working toward it. By the way, I've done other things. I've tried other builds. You know, people are now suggesting a tank okay, build. Okay, he's looping. He said, yes, sir. Hard work pays off. It's crazy how other channels will just po post your L's and your rage, but no progression or any of your wins. Congrats on getting master rank. To which I responded, thank you for saying it. And I gave a thumbs up and I like faved the post or whatever. And this is very true. Because I am not part of the FGC. All right. I don't strive to be. All right. No, no. You just sit there and shit on the entire FGC. Because you tell us that we're stupid for liking Mortal Kombat 1 and Street Fighter 6. Because you admittedly not being a fighting games community member or exclusively a fighting games player have no fucking clue how to play a fighting game so therefore you think it sucks and you're gonna shit on an entire community because they don't think it sucks because they actually know how to play a fighting game and the game mechanics of it no no yeah you know what we don't want you as a member of the FGC Phil as you guys know all right, because I'm not focused on Street Fighter as my primary thing, okay? I don't have FGC support. I don't have many people or any people really in the FGC who follow me, okay? I'm a fringe guy. I'm on the edges. If anything, what I've shown is that just what I've said over the years is absolutely true. If I commit the time and the effort to becoming good at a fighting game, I can be good at a fighting game again. <laughs> then do it. <laughs> oh, that laugh. Thank you. CJ says, 10 minutes till we try messaging the bot again. Thanks. I'll try again in 10 minutes. Please remind me. Thank you. Okay. So anyway, thank you to the person who sent me the nice message. Now, hilariously, this morning, I'm just on Twitter checking for news. We have a oh, few news we articles go. to talk about today. And there's a post, of course, from one of my detractor idiots saying, I have clipped the moment where Phil told someone who says that they are suffering from depression that, hey, at least they're not playing Honda and Street Fighter. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did you actually say that, Phil? Somebody tells you you're suffering from depression and your response is at least you're not playing E-Honda and Street Fighter? Is that... Is that Please, please tell me that's not what you said. Okay? It's hilarious because this moronic idiot, this mouth drooler, clipped a moment out of context on my stream acting as if it's something that's real. Okay? So what happened was there was someone on stream last night who came by and said that they were feeling depressed. And they tagged me in the chat. Now, I'm playing ranked Street Fighter Six with Honda trying to hit Master. What the fuck does that have to do with the stream? Uh, nothing. It's one of your view. You sit there and you fucking beg your viewers for support and support and support and support. You can't be fucking asked to give your one of your viewers that's feeling shitty and for some 
ungodly reason comes to your streams to be entertained. I have no idea why, but that's besides the point. Your response to them, because you're trying to hit ranked, you're trying to hit master rank with E Honda. That you can't take fucking 30 seconds to be like, holy shit, dude, I, I'm really sorry. Hold on, let me finish this real this match real quick and back out of ranked real fast and and like spend a minute or two just pumping somebody up after you sit there and beg and beg and beg and beg and beg for support. You can't even have the have have the sympathy and the humanity to take a second to make sure one of your viewers is okay. You're absolutely horrible, dude. You are absolutely horrible. How what is wrong with you? Even if, like especially if you suffer from depression. How fucking could you do that? Like I I for I know for a fact that I've had viewers come into my stream. They've had a shitty day. I've taken a few minutes and actually talked to them. Because that's what you do. Because they're sitting there try giving you their time. And, you know, like, they're subscribing and whatever. So, you can at least talk to them. Right? At, at the very least. Is you can give them a couple of minutes. But no. No, no. You're a master rank. Even though you... Even though you're not a fighting games player. And you, you don't... You don't... You're not part of the FGC. You're so concerned with your rank in Street Fighter that you can't even acknowledge a viewer and a um, somebody that's actually reaching out for help. Is is that what I'm hearing, Phil? Is that is that really what I'm hearing? Nothing. It's a blatant attempt to derail the stream. You're not going to come to a Street Fighter Six ranking stream to get advice on depression. It's not going to happen. This person is obviously doing this to derail the stream to try to distract me. It's a, it's a very common tactic that people do, especially when I'm playing Street Fighter. Let's try to bring up unrelated topics and controversy and dumb shit so that Phil can get his mind rattled and he fucks up. It Are you serious? Now you're accusing this viewer of weaponizing their depression to distract you from getting your rank. Are... Wow, Phil. You are... You... Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. This is what it looks like officially when somebody needs to log off. If you are actually willing to say the sentence that people come into my Street Fighter streams to try to talk about dumb shit, in this case, dumb shit being depression, to try to distract me and rattle me so that I fuck up. You are basically saying I have viewers that weaponize mental health specifically so that I fuck up my gaming. You need to be done, Phil. You need, you need to be done. Because either you have pissed off so many people that they are willing to do that, in which case you should just put yourself out of your misery, or you are that low of a human that you do not give any sort of shit about the people that give you their time and their money, that you are willing to accuse them of weaponizing mental illness to make you mess up in a game. You need to log off.
I, I, I don't have any more to say about that. I, I'm blind press has lost her words. Like, share, and subscribe.